Hi, this is Natalie, and I'm going to help you understand different types of survey questions. The first thing a researcher needs to understand is that there are two main question types. One type is close-ended, and the other is open-ended. Close-ended questions help to gather quantitative data. In this type of question, a respondent typically chooses a response from a list. On the other hand, open-ended questions gather qualitative responses. To reply to this type of question, a respondent actually writes a personal response to a prompt. Closed-ended questions are appropriate to be used when researchers are seeking quick responses and want to be able to convert their responses into numbers. These numbers make it easy to analyze data based on the survey. On the downside, closed-ended questions provide the respondents with limited response options and these options may not reflect the true opinions and their responses cannot be explained. There are four major types of closed-ended questions. One type is yes or no. As the name states, this type of question simply asks the respondent a yes or no question, such as, did you post? The next type of survey question, a true-false question, is very similar to the yes or no question. In a true or false question, the researcher simply asks the respondent to select true or false in relation to a statement, such as, I met my deadline. Another type of closed-ended question is the multiple choice. In this type of question, respondents are allowed to choose from a list of numbers, words, or statements, such as the statement, when did you post your initial post, and the options are the days of the week. And the last type of closed-ended response is the Likert scale. In this type of question, the respondent is able to reply to a statement or question by choosing from a range of responses. The response scale typically includes ranges such as agree to disagree, always to never, and important to unimportant, such as this example, reading my peers' posts helped me learn, with a range from strongly disagree to strongly agree. After conducting a closed-ended question survey, Researchers will have a large amount of data that can be easily computed and analyzed, but they may be curious about the rationale behind the responses. In this type of situation, open-ended questions are most helpful. Open-ended questions simply provide a prompt and leave a blank space for a written reply. Open-ended questions are beneficial because they provide researchers with rich responses full of insights about the beliefs and attitudes of the respondents. Another benefit of this type of question is that the responses may actually include insights that the researchers may not even have initially considered. However, these detailed responses are actually what creates the downside to open-ended questions because it takes the respondents longer to provide written responses. As a result, fewer questions are typically asked. Additionally, the responses cannot be simply converted into numbers, which makes it more challenging to analyze. As a researcher, it is important to consider purpose when writing survey questions. Remember that closed-ended questions generate quantitative responses, and open-ended questions provide qualitative responses. Next, Michael will explain strengths and drawbacks to surveys.